Hi, I'm Steve from Audac, and in this video, I'm going to explain you a bit more on the Audac Manager platform and our software licenses. You automatically gain access to the Audac Manager when you first buy a license. You will get an invitation emailing to create your own Audac Manager account. When you log in, you can see an overview of all your licenses by status. The different statuses are pending licenses. These are the licenses that you have bought but have not done anything with yet. You have assigned licenses claimed. These are the licenses that you have sold to customers and of which the customers have claimed it already. You have assigned licenses not claimed. These are the licenses that you have sold to a customer, but the customer has not claimed it yet. And then lastly, activated licenses. These are the licenses that you have activated directly on a device or on a touch account. You also get a nice overview of all the licenses per type and you have the possibility to activate the trial licenses. A bit more on that later. When we scroll down a bit, you can see an overview of all your licenses. You can see the license key, the license type, the description, the status, when it was assigned, who it was licensed to, and your personal reference that you put in. When we click on the magnifying glass of a, a license, we can see all the information that the license has. In this case, license type SL plus one, the person or company that it was licensed by, and last, lastly, who it was licensed to. When we go back to the overview, and we click on a pending license, so a license that has not been processed yet. We can also click on the magnifying glass for more details. And we can go and choose the action that we want to do with the license by clicking on assign license. On this overview page, you will see that there are two different actions that you can take for a license. First of all, you can assign the license to a customer. By assigning a license, you pass it on to someone else without activating it in Audit Touch or on the device. You can do so by simply filling in the email address of your customer and an optional reference for your own notice. Then click on Assign License. The customer will get an email that a license is waiting for him to be claimed. On the other hand, you can activate the license. When you activate the license, the functionalities will become available on the account or on your device. To activate the license, in this case, the SL plus one, which is an Audac Touch license, you will need the Audac Touch username and an email address that will be notified by this action. Optionally, you can also put your reference in here for your own notice. And simply click on activate license to make sure that the functionalities will appear on this specific Touch account. At Audac, we also give you the opportunity to activate trial licenses. To do so, on the home page, click on Trial Overview. This will give you an overview of all your trial licenses. You can also see for each trial license how many days you have left. By default, this is 30 days when activating a new license. To create a new trial license, click on the button. Select the license type that you want to activate. In this case, the SLNAC 8 for eight additional Dante channels. Because this is a device license, we need the device MAC address. You can find the device MAC address in Audac Touch. Go ahead and enter the device MAC address. Also, an email address of the person that needs to be notified that the license will be activated on this device. And lastly, you can enter a reference for your own notice and then simply activate the dev license. Now you can see that the trial licenses was created, who it was licensed by, and to which device it was licensed to. You can also see the expiration date and how many days you have left. Lastly, I want to show you the option to invite your colleagues to Audac Manager. Simply do so by clicking on your own name in the top right corner, click on my account, and here you'll find an overview of your company's details. You can also invite a new colleague by filling in his email address and click on invite. 
Your colleague will be notified by email to create his own account and to join you on Audact Manager. So this is all for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any additional questions, you can do so by sending an email to marketing at audact.eu. And I hope to see you in the next video.